All right, I have received something from World of Books. Oh yeah, by the way, hello, my name's Dane and welcome to my February book haul. Okay, this is from Russia with Love by Ian Fleming, um, because basically I thought I'd misplaced my copy, but I had not. So now I have two copies, but hey ho, what are you gonna do? Uh, yeah, this is one of the James Bond books. But at least now I can whack this back in my collection. Just one book to haul for you guys today, that is Cuckoo Song by Francis Hardinge. Uh, I saw this in the local charity shop. It's actually right by the cash point, so I was going to get some money out, nipped in, saw this, picked it up because I've read and enjoyed Hard Engine in the past. This one I'm super excited about reading. I might actually read this next. This is Trash Panda by Lisa Cantoral. It's a poetry collection. Let's read one here. Uh, be My Friend, a murder poem. Hello, I'm insane. Wanna be my new friend? Hello, I'm insane. Be my friend again. New friends are great to have. They can be your alibi when you kill somebody. By accident, totally by accident. Totally, that's what we say. Accidents happen all the time. So yeah, very cool. Uh, Lisa's, oh hang on, there's a photo of her. <laughs> there we go. She's um, married to a guy called Christoph Paul, who also, he's a bizarro author, but he runs a small press as well. In fact, yeah, this is published by Clash Books. So yeah, this is published by his small press, which is very cool. We put the lit in literary. Mm. The Long Tale by Chris Anderson. So this is a non-fiction book. Basically, each month I buy myself six new books and I try and get two from authors that are new to me, two from authors that I've read before, and two indie. So, you know, this is one of my indie ones. This is one of my authors who are new to me. This is non-fiction books, but it's kind of highly influential. Um, you, you, you probably heard the kind of the idea behind The Long Tale. We use it in marketing a lot. So with uh, keywords, for example, you know, if you're a booktuber and you know about keywords, <laughs> so a long tail keyword would be something like Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows book to film adaptation 2020 or something. Whereas a short tail keyword would be Harry Potter. So the idea being you can target the long tail and yeah. 80 20 rule, all that stuff. Okay, good. I've had a package and I don't know what I just did with it. Here it is, it's behind me. So this is from World of Books, I already know what this is. This is Running a Bar for Dummies by Ray Foley and Heather Dismore. Basically, because uh, I've been helping out at the Art Centre a lot and now I am going to be running the bar. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, do I look seductive? <sighs> Come on, ladies. <laughs> I am lying down because I can't be bothered to prop the camera up properly. I'm on holiday at the moment. We went charity shopping today. Um, don't know how much longer the charity shops are going to be open, to be honest. But while they are, I picked up 24 Golden Greats of the 60s on vinyl. And Walk Right Back with the Everlies. 20 Golden Greats. No, 20 Golden Hits by the Everly Brothers. So I picked those two vinyls up. And then I've got some books as well. So here we have... The Word for World is Forest by Ursula K. Le Guin. And I did not realise until I picked this up, this is actually book number five in a series. Well, it's The Cycle, so I don't know whether you can actually read them out of order, but I'd personally rather not. Um, so I'm probably just going to sell this one on. We got Gerald's Game by Stephen King. So this is one of the Kings I have not yet got to. Annoyingly, I have actually seen the movie of this. So I know pretty much exactly what happened, but um, I have been wanting to read this for a while though. This is one of the unread kings that I've been looking forward to. Then we have Ted Hughes' Birthday Letters. So this is just a poetry collection. It's actually annotated. The Blue Flannel Suit, and someone's written What She Wore First Day Teaching. And I also got One Hit Wonderland by Tony Hawks. So he also wrote a book called Round Island with a Fridge, where he went round Island with a fridge. Literally as mad as it sounds. In this one, he had a one-hit wonder in 1988, and someone bet him 100 quid he couldn't get another one-hit wonder. And that's what this book is about. But, um, yeah, very humorous. Like, if you've read, like, Bill Bryson or anything like that, you may, may like this. Hello, I'm back again. I went to charity shops again. Let me see if I can remember which of these vinyls are today's purchases. I think it was these. So I think I talked about these before, the 24 Golden Greats and the Everly's 20 Golden Hits. So I've got these vinyls, I've got 1968 to 69, uh, which this has got some great tunes. It's got like the Mighty Quinn, Legend of Xanadu by Dave D, Dozy, Beaky, Mick and Titch, Fire by The Crazy World of Arthur Brown, uh, 
It's got uh, Joe Cockers with a little help from my friends. Albatross, Fleetwood Mac. Some Oh, In the Year 2525 by Zager and Evans. Love that tune. Johnny Cash, A Boy Named Sue. So yeah, some good ones on that one. And then I got this for a pound, which I think is awesome. It's uh, Jamiroquai, Travelling Without Moving. And to be honest, I don't really know that many Jamiroquai songs, but it begins with Virtual Insanity, which is an absolute banger. That was only a pound. And then this was also only a pound. BBC Records and Tapes, Porridge. Two complete episodes from the BBC One TV series featuring Ronnie Barker. I mean, the only weird thing is how do you... Is this going to translate well? Because if this is just the audio of the TV episode, surely you're not going to know what's going on. Although I suppose it is very gag-based, you know? And that, that again, that was only a pound, and I bet it's worth more than that, so I'm going to check out on eBay. I also got some Shakespeare, so I got Much Ado About Nothing, uh, which is one of the ones, obviously, I haven't read. Oh my god, this is a really weird edition. So they've got the notes on the left and the play on the right, so you have all these empty pages on the left. Um, it actually shouldn't be too difficult for me to read it like that, because I'm used to... Recently I've been reading these bilingual editions. In fact, I want to get back to reading some more French. Um, I know, it's kind of painful, because, you know, French ex-girlfriend, but also... I'm enjoying learning French, so I think a book, maybe I'll get another French book for my bedtime reading. I do have a few actually that I was going to sell, but now I might not sell, I might just finish reading them. I don't know, I don't know. I've also, oh yeah, let me know in the comments if you watch any French booktube channels. I found a few. That's also a really good way for me to practice my listening, and then obviously I can leave a comment as well. Although I do have to pay a lot more attention to those booktube videos than I normally do. Like most of the time I've got people's reading vlogs just on in the background. I also got Anthony Horowitz, Moriarty. So uh, this is one of the licensed new Sherlock Holmes books by Anthony Horowitz, who's pretty well known in his own right. He's actually got a new book coming out as well, which is the new James Bond novel. So I might have to get that too, because it's, it's going to bug me because... I've read all the Sherlock Holmes books and I've read all of the Bond novels and I have actually previously read, he had one called House of Silk which was a Sherlock Holmes novel and I did enjoy that, so I've got high hopes for this one. Three, two, one, go. Alright guys, just the one book to uh, haul I guess today which is uh, Depression and How to Survive It by Spike Milligan and Anthony Clare. And basically Spike Milligan uh, had over 40 years of depressive experiences and uh, he did an interview with this guy Anthony Clare and uh, this book is what came out of it. My mum actually gave me this one, so um, I'm interested to to see to see what I make of it. All right. Well, anyway, that is everything that I got in March. So as always, be sure to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Uh, you can also let me know if you want to buddy read any of these. Some of them I might have already picked up, others maybe not so much. Just let me know in the comments, and we'll figure it out. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.